Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Sharnice and welcome back to Simply Niqua. This week's video and even next week's video is going to be a Halloween nail tutorial. Exciting! I want these nail tutorials to be something a little different from what I have previously done other years on my channel. So this week's Halloween nail tutorial was inspired by this hoodie right here I have on. It's my Nightmare Before Christmas hoodie and it glows in the dark and it has these bats on the hoodie. Since I never really did like a bat nail tutorial for Halloween, that is what I'm going to do today. I was inspired by this hoodie. I also did another little new aspect with this nail tutorial as well that I haven't done before really. And so if you're excited just as much as I am to do this nail tutorial, why not sit back and relax and continue watching. But before you do, and if you haven't already, go down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And while you're at it throughout the video, whatever time you want to do, like this video please. I really appreciate it. But other than that, let's get started with this video. Along with this Halloween nail tutorial, I want to expand with, with some other aspects with my nail tutorial. So I decided to apply these nail art details onto some clear nails which is a fun little cool aspect um, that I hardly do. So to begin with, on the index finger, middle finger, and pinky, I want it to be a black nail fading into some bats flying away onto the nail on the tip of the nail. So we're going to start with two coats of a black, which I used the LA Coats Color Last Onyx, and I applied black on from the cuticle kind of uh, halfway towards the middle of the nail. Once I have done those two coats, I took a makeup sponge wedge and kind of tore pieces off of that to have that jagged edge. Uh, I applied a little bit of that black onto that makeup sponge wedge piece and applied it onto that middle section to kind of blur those lines out. I also used my finger to blur that line out as well to give it like a blurred out effect um, where the um, bats will come out on these nails. Once I was done with that section, I was ready to apply bats on all of my nails. So on the index finger, middle finger, and pinky is going to have bats on the tip of the nail where the clear area is at. And then on the thumb and wedding finger, or the ring finger, I'm going to apply bats on the full nail. But I left a little section out on the top right corner because I'm going to do something else on these nails. So for the bat nail art detail, I wasn't making these bats really too detailed. So I decided for the different spots of where the bats going to go. I applied this triangle blob I call it right where I want the bat to be and then I just apply like these wings and I felt like this is kind of like the easiest way to make these bats. I didn't want to make them too big because I wanted a lot of them on these nails. Also by making the bats I wanted some of the bats from the index finger, middle finger and pinky to feel like it's coming out of the darkness so really make sure to apply and make some bats within that dark area to make it look like it's like it's like an ombre of the bats coming out and then to make ones that look like they're far away then I just did these two like upside down U shapes or M a spread out M to make these little tiny bats that's far away all around the empty spaces of the nails as well Once I was done with the bats, the bigger bats that we did on all of the nails, I want them to have a glitter and shine and really bounce off the nail compared to the other ones. So right on top of those bats, I applied Sally Hansen from their Diamond Strength Collection and it's called Black Tie and I applied that onto all of those bigger bats. Always waiting for the phone show up with my tablet store To make it even more shiny, I uh, right on top of that black tie, I applied Salon Perfect Lady Ladies First right on top of that black tie color, and it really, really makes it really shiny. Next thing that I did on the ring finger and the thumb, I want to apply a moon. And so I wanted to have this like shadow effect on the back of the moon. That's what I was trying to do. So I applied Sally Hansen's Instagram collection and their gray called Show Stealer. And I just apply like a gray line and then with a nail brush with 
also some nail polish remover and kind of stippled it around that um, gray section to stipple it out and make it look like it's like a shadow. I gotta save me from myself. And then I applied the moon, actually the moon shape with a white, which I use LA Comes Color Last Evermore. shape is in as nice and opaque how I wanted it I then applied some glitter on top of that moon as well you need that to shine as well and I applied LA colors color last metallic finish polish opal white on top of the moon And then I also went in onto that opal white on top of that I applied slime perfects she's a star right on top of that as well to give it some more glitter once I was done with all of that, I was done with this nail tutorial and I want to apply that top coat to seal everything in. So I applied my favorite top coat at the moment, which is called the ProFlex Quick Dry High Gloss Top Coat, and I applied that to every nail. I just So you guys, how do you like my first Halloween nail tutorial this year? I really enjoyed making these bat nails on these clear nails. Like, I thought it was a little different than the usual pumpkin type of nails that I do. And I just, I like different nail tutorials. And I really like this nail. At the end, I really love them. And I hope you did too. Go ahead and give me a like down below if you did. And if you want to try these nails out yourself. But other than that, if you haven't already from the beginning and you just haven't already, go down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check out some more of the nail tutorials that I've done in the past that are Halloween nail tutorials. It's not just this one, so go ahead and love them nail tutorials too. But other than that, I'll catch you back next week with another awesome nail tutorial. You don't want to miss out, so please, please subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Bye!